Hello everyone, JDev of the JDev Entertainment Network has returned once again to give you exactly what you want. Of course, that'd be more of me giving the gals and guys another Dexter Season 4 episode recap video. But before I do that, it's very important if you're not caught up with where I am recapping Dexter. So make sure you pay attention to that episode title. If that's the case, I strongly suggest that you stop watching this video. And if you're caught up, great. Make sure you like the video, share it, favorite it, subscribe to the channel. Otherwise... You'll be mine to find. And click on the alerts for notifications. And make sure you leave me a comment telling me what you thought about the episode. And your overall score of the episode would be greatly appreciated. And you know, it does help the channel out a lot. So, we're getting close here. Dexter Season 4, Episode Number 10. This episode was called Lost Boys. And I feel that this episode, while it was good, kind of got put together at the last moment. Like, all of a sudden, now you have another victim added to Trinity Cycle. It just seemed kind of out of... Unorganized. To a certain degree. It could have been planned, but I don't know. I'm not sure. I think halfway through Season 4, maybe they're like, Wait, we don't have enough material for 12 episodes. We need to stall until the end. That's, that's my take. I could be wrong, though. I'm not sure about that. But it seemed like it was rather unorganized. So, yes, Trinity... Apparently now they find out that he abducts a 10-year-old boy that's innocent before his three killings. The, the bathtub victim, the suicide victim, and the bludgeoning. And so he kidnaps this Scott kid, Scott Smith. And, well, he doesn't really, I mean, he kidnaps him, but it's more of a, not like a normal kidnapping. And he, like, puts him in some unoccupied house. Calls him Arthur, plays trains with him, and plays the record that Vera, his sister, listened to all the time. So, that was that. We'll get back to that later. Uh, in this episode, Deborah is really focused on Christine Hill. And she's like, call me crazy, but Angel, can you watch this while she interviews me? And Angel's like, yes, I will. And during the interview that Christine gives Deborah, she shows her, the Christine, the pictures of Lundy, Dad, and Christine, a hardcore, you know, journalist, media person, can't stand the sight of those pictures. And then she kind of questions her without actually, like, um, accusing her of anything. And Christine's answers aren't making sense. They're a lie. And Batista sees that as well. So De this has Deborah thinking, like, oh, she's the same height as our, the person that shot me. What's going on here? What does this woman know? So later in the episode, they talk to Quinn. And they get Quinn to give her her toothbrush so they can run it for DNA. And then later in the episode, that toothbrush turns out to have DNA related to Trinity. As we found out in the last episode, Trinity is Christine's father. We don't know who Christine's mother is. I don't know if it's uh, the same lady that's the mother of Rebecca and um, Jonah. Or maybe he had a fling with somebody else and that's his other love child. But Christine apparently knows a lot as she was with Trinity 30 years ago when he killed a, a bathtub victim. And looked through the window to see Trinity in the bathtub or Arthur Mitchell in the bathtub with the victim and all the blood. And she told Arthur this, and he's like, oh, it was just a dream. She's like, no, it's not a dream. I saw it, but I'm okay. It's okay. I, I, I'm trying to help you with this. I I tried to, Lundy was on to you. You know, I saw him run into you in the courtyard, and then he saw you, and then he wasn't going to stop. So I shot him, and I made it look like a different crime. And uh, Trinity, or Arthur, is not happy about that, but plays it off until she leaves and then starts freaking out about it, but... So, yeah, it's kind of an interesting twist that, you know, Christine being his daughter, we don't know who the mother is. I don't think she's Sally, I think that's her name, his wife's child, but I could be wrong. We'll have to, I'll have to get back to you guys in that another video, but that was mainly the episode. And then, of course, Dexter does uh, find out where Trinity is and eventually saves Scott Smith from being put into cement and covered for, you know, Buried for life, essentially. Um, so Scott Smith is going to be returned to his family. That's good. Dexter is is definitely good, and he's he's really showing his human side. I think 
and I like that. But still, I'm a little... The episode, it seems like they threw it together at the last second because they ran out of material to get to the finale. That's just my opinion. I could be wrong. I'm not sure. And also, one of the people that uh, Deborah was asking about, uh, Harry Morgan, Valerie Hodges, showed back up and said that, yeah, I'm a little mad about your dad because he dumped me for another CI. And Deborah asked, what's the CI's name? And she's like, I don't know. So... Debra apparently is still going to be investigating those CI cases. And eventually that's going to lead her to Laura Moser, which will lead her to Brian Moser, which will lead her to Ice Truck Killer, which will also lead to Dexter Morgan. And who knows when we'll find that information out. But yeah, I, I mean, I like the episode for what it was, even though some of it seemed kind of thrown together. I'm going to give it a 9.0. Solid, a solid ending to the season. Not the end of the season, but solid episodes leading to the end of the season. So. You guys need to do what you're supposed to do. Leave me your thoughts about the episode. Make sure you score the episode. And it's very important that you subscribe to the channel. Because I, I do want to build the channel up. And if there's something I need to do to get you to subscribe to the channel, you let me know. Because if you don't subscribe to the channel, you'll be mine to find. <laughs> I have to quote Dexter. He said that in a season 5 at some point. Uh, we'll get to that season pretty shortly here. So, hope you guys all enjoyed the video. And, of course, Jada will be back again soon with another. Peace.